Hello audience and welcome to Let's Play Assassin's Creed. The very first one, not two, not Brotherhood, not Revelations, not whatever the hell comes after Revelations, but still, Assassin's Creed, the original, the classic, the one you can't beat, except in the ways that you can beat it. Enough rambling, straight into it. Now you may have noticed something strange there. I clicked continue and not new game. There is a reason for this. <clears throat> but you see, on my profile, I have already beaten the game. And in my experience, if you start a new game, you have to erase your old file. And I don't want to do that because I worked very hard to get as far as I am in this profile. Ah, uh, spoilers, spoilers, to the start. To the start. Oh god. So I'm going to give you a little bit of background before we go any further. Pay attention as this is critical, and you will likely get lost. I'm just kidding, it's very easy to keep up. Basically, this is our guy, Desmond. He's a dweeb, bit of a nerd, he sucks. And he's got black hair. Only nerds have black hair. And what the hell is he wearing? Seriously, it's just... Bleh. Oh my god. Headshot, literally. Just look at his perfectly round head. Actually, no. No. Oh wait, it's no. I thought he had a flat head. It doesn't matter. Basically, this guy... I'm gonna give you the rundown because his story actually doesn't develop much. Our story takes place in here for this first game. What you see here, Desmond descends from a series of people known as Assassins. He is a descendant of the Assassin Order who goes back hundreds, if not thousands of years. It doesn't specify. And he is being held by this creepy agency called Abstergo. This is, this is actually taking place after you've beaten the game, but his story honestly isn't that interesting and I don't want to delete my profile, so... Pretty city. You can't see very well because of the sun glare. Damn you, sun glare. And you destroy the frame rate. I hate you. Why must you always demolish the frame rate? He's being held by these people, and they're mean. And they are trying to extract vital information from him using this machine known as the Animus. Now, the Animus, when entered, like so, allows you to delve into your own DNA and extract the essence of memory from your ancestors. See, in this game, I don't. In this game, unlike reality, your DNA holds not only your memories, but the memories of your ancestors as well. So he, Desmond, has several ancestors. They're all interesting, they're all incredibly athletic, and they all have this strange fascination with killing people, hence so they are assassins. So we are going to launch right into the story of Altair ibn Lahad. That was a pretty interesting introduction, wouldn't you say? This is Altair, by the way. He's tripping, got the white robe, the sword. He likes to kill people. Give me a few seconds, I have to familiarize myself with controls. Okay, you run with this button, you walk with this button, you kill people with this button. Okay, I'm good. I'm set. And you do a fist pump. Oh yeah, look at that. Do 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 uh, memory! Wait! There must be another way. This one need not die. This one always has to die. Oh, brutal. An excellent kill. Fortune favors your blade. Not fortune, skill. Watch a while longer and you might learn something. Indeed. He'll teach you how to disregard everything the Masters taught us. And how would you have done it? I would not have drawn attention to us. I would not have taken the life of an innocent. What I would have done is follow the creed. Nothing is true. Everything is permitted. Understand these words. It matters not how we complete our task. Only that it's done. But this is not the way I'm- My way is better. <laughs> I will scout ahead. Try not to dishonor us further. Oh, of course not. What is our mission? My brother would say nothing to me. Only that I should be honored to have been invited. The Master believes the Templars have found something beneath the Temple Mount. Treasure? I do not know. All that matters is the Master considers it important. Else he would not have asked me to retrieve it. Yeah, Altair is a bit of an egotistical snob. He's all, ooh, look at me, I have a big white robe. You're not a real assassin yet, you don't get the white robe. Yours is cut down, yours doesn't go below the knees. Jump! Now, as Altair is an assassin, he can perform death-defying athletics, which would normally kill anyone else. You can't look up his skirt as he climbs the ladder, which is kind of disappointing, but still. And here's this guy, guarding a position, with his back facing the most obvious entryway for an assassin. Oh, I have to go through the freaking tutorial. Fine. Lock on. Press X for a low profile kill, or do the fun thing. Do a high profile kill. 
and be blocked by the pillar of epicness. There! That must be the Ark. The Ark of the Covenant? Don't be silly. There's no such thing. It's just a story. Then what is it? <laughs> Quiet! Someone's coming! I want us through this gate before sunrise. The sooner we possess it, the sooner we can turn our attention to those jackals at Masiaf. Robert de Saab, his life is mine. Yes! No! no. We were asked to retrieve the treasure and deal with Robert only if necessary. He stands between us and it. I'd say it's necessary. Discretion, Altair! You mean cowardice. That man is our greatest enemy, and here we have a chance to be rid of him. You have already broken two tenets of our creed. Now you would break the third. Do not compromise the Brotherhood. I am your superior, in both title and ability. You should know better than to question me. Yeah, really. So shove off, Malak. I do things my way. Go back to Kator where you belong, Malak. Drop. It's the cool people do. You can climb down the ladder or you can just drop like a badass. You normally break your neck, but still. Hold, Templars. You are not the only ones with business here. Ah. Well, this explains my missing man. And what is it you want? Cookies. Blood. You know not the things at which you meddle, Assassin. I spare you only that you may return to your master and deliver a message. The Holy Land is lost to him and his. He should flee now while he has the chance. Stay, and all of you will die. Just give it up, Altair. He's got you. Ouch. Oh, unlucky. That's gonna suck. Men! To arms! Kill the assassin! Observe my death-defying athletics. Oh, how will I ever get up there? But look, the scaffolding is conveniently placed in a stacking ascending order. It's almost as if they wanted you to climb up this way. Premonition from Ubisoft. Walling. Up we go. Now I'm gonna sneeze. <coughs> Excuse me. And thank you to those of you who just said bless you. If you didn't just say bless you, then you are a heartless bastard. Then you should go die in a hole. I think once every LP I tell my viewers to go die in a hole, so don't take it personally. If you're new to me, if this is the first LP of mine you're watching, don't take it personally. Skipping part of memory to a more recent one. No, I want to see Jerusalem, no! Uh. Yes. The nice thing about reliving memories is this beautiful method of cutting out travel time. It's fantastic. You, but you do have to stand in this blue abyss for about 20 freaking minutes while it loads. Uh, then the white flash of death. And civilization. Altair, you've returned. Shut up. Rauf, it is good to see you unharmed. I trust your mission was a success. Is the master in his tower? Yes, yes. Uh, buried in his books as always. No doubt he expects you. My thanks, brother. Safety and peace out there. On you as well. Shove off. Safety and peace upon you means shove off. That's basically what it means. Now we can walk. The first time I played this game, I didn't realize you could run while in society. I thought you had to be discreet. So I literally walked from here all the way to the top of that freaking tower. Now I realize. Screw you all. Get out of my way, you crazy old hags. Oh god. It's his fault. He did it. I don't know where I'm going, I'm not paying attention. Whee! Free run. What causes him to run like that? I don't know. Crap. But we must we must not keep Duncan waiting. Yes. He's going to cause trouble. Exactly. I'm messing around. No, don't go in the hay. Oh god, I almost ran in the hay. You do not want to go in the hay. You do not want to know what lies within the hay. Nests of deadly Japanese fighting spiders. And there's the pretty tower. Where Duncan waits for us. I'm serious. Duncan is the master of the assassins. He calls himself Alvin Wilder in this game, but no, he's really just Duncan. He wears a black robe instead of a white one, and he has one sword instead of two. But still, it's still Duncan. And he's not a Grey Warden, he's an assassin. So basically, he's a completely different guy. As you know, he still has a beard, so it's all this. Ah, 